These are Lucy's babies. <laughs> Those are your babies, Lucy. Oh, yeah. Bailey wants to get in and Lucy's saying no. <laughs> Bailey, no. She's got three little puppies. They're four weeks now. There's their little bed around there. As they get older, I open up different sections in this area for them to, to come out and explore. Bailey's very interested, aren't you, Bay? Bailey, don't even think about it. No, not allowed. I know you want to play with them. You're too big. So there they are. Gorgeous little puppies. Oh, she's gone in. <laughs> Bailey, you're not allowed in there. Oh, she wants to steal their toys. That's the thing. She does love puppies. Oh, she's got a toy and she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> G'day, guys. Welcome back. It's Turtle Day. Now, those of you that have been following me know I've had this little baby turtle for quite a while now and I thought I was going to try and challenge myself and make a bigger turtle. So this is the adult sea turtle and this is the baby sea turtle and I'm going to do some greens because I think sea turtles are kind of green. Now this is the Let's Resin Chameleon Colours. I've picked two of their green tones. So this one says green and this one says fairy green. So I'm going to do those. I'm going to dust them in the mold. That's what that one looks like. That's the green and I'm going to do the shell with that one. And then the other one is like a more of a goldy green and I'm going to do the, the legs and the head with that one and see how they look together two greens together I think it'll be nice don't you think so I think I think they'll complement each other nicely so that's what I'm going to do so let's get started I've just got my little makeup brush and I'll start I'll start with the the shell because it's lowered down if I started up here I'd probably splash something down into the into the shell look at that now with this one, you've got to get underneath into that little lip under there. Under there. It really doesn't matter if you get some one color mixed, like if you've gone on to one of the sections that you're not supposed to. <laughs> it's not going to matter because they're both they're both green. Um, it shouldn't it shouldn't still look really pretty. So don't be too concerned if a little bit of the dark green flies up into the leg or something like that. It's not going to matter. Okie dokes. Just turn it around so we can see what we're doing. Get in under there. The, uh, the dusting also helps with um, not having bubbles clinging to the surface because it kind of breaks the surface tension of that silicone and it really does help prevent bubbles. In my humble opinion all right here we go with the the baby one now the baby one the turtle is a little bit more on the shiny side the big ones he's not quite matte but he is not all that shiny I guess <laughs> if that's if you can understand it's it's not so it's got it's this one's got like a textured shell and you'll see that when I unmold it so it's not as super smooth and shiny because of the little textures areas which make it more realistic I think get in there make sure you get down into the tail oh probably not into the tail area but <laughs> oh, too late now probably shouldn't get into the tail area with the shell color should I all right so I think that's done did I get into the tail area with you? I might have. All right, let's pop the lid on that one. And then I'm just going to see if I can clean it off a little bit. You could just go to a second brush, but because they're both green, I'm just going to 
get as much of that darker green off as I can. And then uh, we'll go to the next green. And then I'll kind of flip them upside down and shake out the excess. All right, so here we go. This is the fairy green now. You see the difference? Now, don't worry if this splashes over the top of your green because it's what's touching the mold first is going to be your color okay so if this goes over the top you won't see it you're only only going to see the first color now mine sometimes they get a little tear like that from unmolding and it just makes it easier to, I think to get in there as well and dust doesn't make any difference to the actual turtle actually my new turtle mold though doesn't have that but this is my old turtle mold still the same but um, I've just had it so that it doesn't have black like, space under its chinny chin chin just makes it easier to unmold now the little fins aren't, aren't really deep so you just need to make sure that when you're pouring your resin in that you fill it to the top okay fill her up you can even dome it that's fine because as the resin cures it does shrink a little bit and pulls away from the sides so you want to make sure that your little feet your little tootsies are nice and full I'm getting under there as well make sure that I haven't missed any I think I got in there with the other color on this one but look at the mess I've made all right moving on to the bigger one the adult turtle Get in there I'm trying not to make too much of a mess but I don't, don't think it can be helped I'm a messy crafter I think I try not to be but the powder just kind of splashes out everywhere look at that color so I will in a minute when I'm finished this and look you guys feel free to fast forward through me doing this by the time I've stopped the video and started again and edited so that it goes on four times the speed and it's just not worth it <laughs> it just takes so long for an extra couple of minutes of work so feel free to just to fast forward and you can catch up with me once I'm done or we can just chat like you're right here with me hey now get in there as well same same thing here you might get a little tear on the head there it won't make any difference at all to your your mold it will make it easier to unmold but make sure that you get right in under there okay last little flipper now I have seen on eBay and Amazon and Etsy and all of those the people don't know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise like seriously dude a tortoise doesn't have flippers it has a much higher rounded shell and it's got stompy feet for walking sea turtles have got flippers for swimming okay I don't know how people get them wrong <laughs> uh, I feel like messaging them and going that's not a turtle it's a tortoise or vice versa all right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my little mold and I'm just going to bang it like that <laughs> look there's my turtle uh, and then same with this one just give them a little bit of bang just to get some of that excess out and then what you can do you don't have to but you can just spray some alcohol isopropyl on, on a baby wipe clean up your mold so it looks pretty don't have to I like to do it so I'll finish this I'll clean it up um, I will mix up my black resin and uh, I will be right back and I'll tell you how much I use for each of these because I've written it down all right <laughs> I'll be back I have got my black I ended up doing just a little bit more than I thought I needed I've got 80 grams of A and 35 grams of B and put a scoop of Lares Expressions Midnight Black Pigment Paste into it 
Now, the two chameleon powders came from these two packs. The dark green went in there. It's Let's Resin's Intense Chameleon Powder. There's five in there, different colours. And then this one as well. This one had the lighter green in it. So I do have a link and a coupon code for 10% off down in the description. Um, you don't have to buy the particular items. You can buy anything you want, just as long as you're using that link, um, you'll get the 10% off. Okay, so that's them. Oh, and the other thing. Oh, those of you who have been buying my moulds for a little while, and thank you so much, I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, I have only just finally, finally worked out how to do combined postage. So I know it's taken me a while and I've tried so many times to do it and it just didn't work. So finally I got onto uh, one of the forums. I just Googled, you know, eBay combined postage forum type thing. And I read through comments about people who were having similar issues on not being able to combine postage. And I finally did it. I did. I finally did it. So, yes. So those of you who were maybe put off from buying from my store previously, just go along with your cup of coffee or your wine. <laughs> Relax. Have a look and see what you want. Add things to your cart. When you've got everything in the cart that you want, then go to checkout and you will see that the items will be combined. You'll pay for one item, full postage, and then everything else after that is like $5 extra. And my molds are really heavy, so going by, you know, an extra mold or two, you can jump up an extra one or two kilos, which is like four pounds. <laughs> Um, in weight so you're getting yeah, you'll get more weight and it'll only cost you five dollars does that make sense like you'll be able to add one of those extra heavy molds and it only cost you an extra five dollars for postage so yay I'm really happy that I finally finally managed to work it out it was really tricky really tricky okay I'm making a bit of a mess here so just try and fill it as high as you can without going over. I do like to keep my mould clean. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. Um, so yeah, we're just filling these up with black. Black tends to work best. Well, any really dark colour. I mean, you could use like a navy blue, I guess, or like a deep burgundy or a, a really dark green as a backfill. Look at the pattern on that. But I just, I really like just using the black. And we're just going to drizzle it into those flippers. And I will have <clears throat> we'll have a little bitty left. So because what I do, if I'm not sure how much something takes, I just get like a previous piece that I've made and I just weigh it and I go, okay, that weighs 75 grams. Then I know that I have to make up 75 grams of resin. Like that makes sense, doesn't it? It does. I hope I've got into everywhere that I'm supposed to get into. Now, we have some black left. We do, we do, we do. Let's do a puffy heart. I'll just do, just do one. Where's my tape? Where's my tape? I've had glitter in this one, so I better give it a bit of a clean. All right, how much have I got left? I probably, yeah, probably only got enough for one. So let's do let's do that fairy green, shall we? I've already cleaned my brush. I sprayed the end with alcohol just to clean it off. Look at that. So yeah, just grab yourself a little a little mold, you know, that way you can use for your leftover resins. Don't waste it. Any little mold. This is the puffy heart mold that I like to do um, and then I use these as little giveaways when people buy my molds and just pop that lid back on ah, I never want to go on straight do they I always want to go on crooked 
I'll fix it later. Now I'm just going to tap this upside down as well. Look at the colours in that. Hey, so pretty. All right, let's pour the black in. Hopefully there's enough just to do this one. Let it work its way around into that little holder there, the little bale, built-in bale. That'll do. See, look, that was good. Good, good, good. Now, um, where's my alcohol? I'll just give it a quick little squirt in my, this is my smaller demister bottle. You can see the bubbles popping there. It's basically the, um, like the, the mica powder that you can see coming up and popping. I'm not going to torch it because it's it's too like too close to the surface. I wouldn't, and it's too small. I'd, I'd burn the mold. All right, so that's it. Um, I've got um, my son and his wife and their little baby Theo coming over shortly. So I need to go and get organised. And <laughs> I love them coming over, but I'm thinking, oh, I want to do some more resin. <laughs> So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for the unmoulding of these gorgeous creatures. It's the next day. My moulds are all set. So, where will we start? Let's start with the little turtle, shall we? Let's start with him or her. Alrighty. Now, are we going to focus? Let me just double check. All right, I'll leave it on autofocus. Here we go. <laughs> Move that down, loosen him all the way around. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get them all out first. Now you can see how making that little hole there, or a little tear, makes it easier just to get him out. So there he is. All right, let's get the next one out. Here comes your mummy or your daddy, little turtle, to keep you company. Let's see how that goes. All righty. Now, any little extra bits of um, mica that are in there you can just use a, um, a baby wipe and some alcohol and, and clean it out there's always little bits of mica that are left in there unfortunately the resin doesn't pick them all up it does look like on a totally smooth mold but a mold that's got some little textures and things that probably won't get them all out um, and you'll just have to clean it yourself oh, don't you hate cleaning molds <laughs> uh, all right so here we go let's start with the baby. All right. Oh, I'm nervous. Hope it works. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look at it. That is so cool. Wow. Look how shiny and shimmery he is. There he is. <laughs> that is so cool. Love it. I've got a couple of little bubbles. Oh, look, I can just pick them out. Pick out the little bubbles. Pick. That is sweet. All right. Very nice. Love those colours. Can you see how it's just catching the light there? You can see the green. This is kind of greeny blue and this is kind of greeny gold, I think. All right. Now, remember, this one's got more texture on the back, so it's not going to be ultra shiny like this one is. Here we go. Oh, that turned out amazing. Wow, look at that. I've got a couple of little tiny bubbles where I haven't, I should have pushed the resin in underneath in those little, little flappies under there. I should have pushed the resin in, but I didn't because I didn't want to dislodge my mica powder. But I guess you could, you could. There we go, look at, look the detail on his little face. Let's see if I can show you. Look at that. And he's got all this little like pitting I guess detail on the shell. His little tail. <laughs> oh that's really cute. You can see the difference between a, a shiny mold and I mean it's still shiny. It's just not ultra glossy because of the um, the texture on there, but it's, it's a different look. All right, now we can check out our little heart zoom. 
and check out our little heart. Here we go. So it'll just, it should be just like this one here because it's, it's glossy. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this, <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to be this color, but we changed it, didn't we? We, we, um, silicone, we've got this, this color here. So there it is. Uh, it's so pretty. That's the greeny gold kind of a, a tone on it, isn't it? Put them like that. There we go. <laughs> All right. So there you go. There's my turtles. Toitles. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed my video. Uh, they are both in my eBay store. If you want one, I will link. I'll link the big one because it's new. I'll link it into uh, the description of this video. So you can check it out if you want one. And then the puffy heart as well is there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, as always, I'll see you again for the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.